My name is Robert Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. This video is part of a series of videos where I discuss forensic accounting topics for educational purposes only. If this was a litigated matter, I would take a different approach, have different conclusions based on different facts and circumstances. My name is Robert A. Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. Today's topic is going to be the aristocrats. And hopefully you've heard that term before because I'm going to be a little bit concerned if you haven't, but the, the aristocrats is uh, a very unique list of stocks listed on the New York Stock Exchange that have dividends that have grown for 25 consecutive years. And, you know, when you, when you look at an investment, um, the, what's the important thing? The important thing is what are you getting? What is the cash flow? And that's usually a dividend. That's what you usually get from the stock. So when, when I tell you that the aristocrats, and you can you know, put this, go online and do this, and you'll get a list of the aristocrats, it's, it's companies that are really solid because they've issued dividends for 25 consecutive years, and they've increased them every single year. Companies like AT&T, Nucor, there's a whole list of them. But my, my forensic accounting, we, come, uh, we actually come across this quite often. And... Um, in fact, uh, like a couple months ago, I had a client, uh, you know, a prospective client call me and they said that it, they got a call from a stockbroker who said that uh, uh, they had a, a, a sum of money that was deposited in their name uh, in a brokerage account 30 years ago. And it was deposited by their father and it was, I think, originally $1,800. So let me, so it was, you know, 30 years ago, so it was $1,800 30 years ago. And what, what his father did was he invested in these, what I call aristocrats, or what everybody calls aristocrats, these companies that have dividends that increase every year. And over that, thir we had to go in and look at these stocks just to make sure that uh, everything was accounted for. Because when, you, when he bought these stocks 30 years ago, they split off, they acquired companies, they uh, issued all, you know, two for one splits, three for one, all kinds of crazy stuff. But his father was a pretty smart man because this account sat in the brokerage account for 30 years, no one ever touched it. Okay, And finally they located the son and they said you had in the bank, he had $4,252,000 Five, five. Okay. So in 30 years, this is 30 years, right? The account from went to 1800 to over $4 million. Okay. And this is just by, we, we did an analysis of the whole account. And I'm telling you, we have this happen at least once every two years. Someone comes to me with a, uh, some kind of case involving stocks that have gone up uh, for some reason or someone did something wrong. But in this case, it was just lost for 30 years. And what that, what does that equate to? A 20% annual return. 20% annual return. And he did nothing. So the, the purpose of this video is, is just to, to, to let you know that you know, there are investments out there. Uh, and sometimes by just making an investment and letting it sit it there, it will grow. The dividends will compound. The, the company will acquire other companies. Some of the companies went out of business in this portfolio. But a lot of them uh, split and bought and, you know, I think there's like six original or seven original companies and, and here there was like 15. So it split off many other com companies. So, you know, the, the purpose is for you to understand that one, the, 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 sometimes if you have good companies, you can just put it in there and just let it ride and the, the magic of compounding will work wonders. So maybe you have an account somewhere that somebody left with $1,800 and now it's worth over $4 million. So hopefully you do. Um, if, my name is Robert Bonavito. If you have any questions uh, or you'd like to email me on this, um, uh, feel free to.